Okay, so those are current modules we're using. We're really only using uh, bubble buffs for a, a mod. Um, not a big deal for this point in the game yet either, anyway. But, happy Sunday, or Wednesday, sorry, it's Wednesday. Uh, we're currently 10 hours, 28 minutes into this playthrough. This is playthrough number four for me. Uh, first playthrough was um, Lich, with as a, well, sorry, it was a, did an Oracle slash Hell Knight Signifier uh, build with the, for the Lich run. Second run was as a was an Arcanist with the one level dip into Sorcerer Double Bloodline, whatever it's called, and then we went uh, Azada and Gold Dragon. Why? Because you can't do Gold Dragon from the very start. That's the downside to that one. But anyway, that's what we did for the second run. Third run, which we finished up uh, a couple weeks back, was um, Half Orc Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer Demon, there we go. Demon run for the for the third run. That was pretty fun. And uh, so to, make, to get back into the uh, evil, good, evil, good uh, rotation, we are doing a good run with Gimpy. The Crusader, he's a dwarf. He is currently neutral, but working towards a good alignment, as you can see in the middle there. That's, he started off as a true neutral and is working you know, his way to the good side of things. And his weapon of choice is uh, going to be a great sword. We only really have a cold iron, but that's fine. Here we resist fire. Oh, that's right, because it's on the, the last fight we had. Um, so anyway, Gimpy, Crusader. We don't have any mythic abilities yet, right? Yeah, we haven't got, got that far. Anyway, so. And then this time around for characters or companions, we're doing one mercenary character uh, this time around. It'll be uh, Veronica. She's a neutral good dwarven blood kineticist. Why blood kineticist? Because supposedly they've been, you know, actually implemented. So it, I've tried to run a blood kineticist in a prior uh, run, um, but the blood kineticist abilities were not implemented yet. So we'll see how they work these days. Um, she doesn't really, the only one that really applies is Rack, which we really haven't used yet. That's extended range and then elemental overflow. So. Next uh, actual blood kinetics thing is the bleeding infusion, right? Which means da -da -da, power. if they fail a fortitude save, the target takes one point of bleed damage for every die of the blast damage. This is a second level substance infusion that costs two points of burn and can be used with water and blood blast. She does not get a blood blast until level seven. I don't know why this doesn't come up earlier. Seeing that this, it doesn't matter, but anyway, that's where we're going. So that's a mercenary character, uh, Veronica. And then we're going to have uh, four hello slots. Hello, bag for... of mostly water. <laughs> I got to be careful. We said hello to her. Um, and then we're going to save the other four slots for companion companions. Um, right now, Sila is our tank. Um, we're probably going to be ditching land for Arushale when she shows up. If you don't know who Arushale is, don't worry about it. Um, they basically do kind of the same stuff, sort of, kind of. He most he starts the game as a bow, as an archer, but you can you know do whatever you want with him because he's a, you know, that's the way the game works. As you can see, we gave him two levels of deliverer, which is a slayer uh, archetype. But anyway, he's our archer for now. Wooljif is our rogue like character at the time being or for the time being he's dual wielding short swords jitska and the cold iron uh, masterwork i don't know if we're going to keep him around or not we probably i'm going to try to but as i said arush is going to take this spot and then in our last spot right now it's ember i would like to take somebody else because ember's been with the been with us in what, two runs or one run i know she was with us in the first run she wasn't in the last one. I can't remember the second one if she was there or not. I think she was, but not positive. Anyway, the question is who's going to take the last spot? Don't know yet. Not Camellia, because she's been with us a number of times. <laughs> so, that kind of stuff. We're basically just taking different companions to see what their conversations and relationships are like. Just because for entertainment value. But anyway, that's our cast of characters. And as you can see, we are at level 3. Getting close to level four, and a little beat up. Oh yeah, and of course Gimpy, being a crusader, his main role is to 
help out with the damage, melee type, and of course buffs as a cleric and healing, which we are currently out of that stuff. Um, did we go in? I think we went in here, didn't we? I'm not sure. Let's see. Here, drink some of these. Potions. Okay, so. I don't remember, did we? I think we went into this house. I'm not sure. I'm going to double check. I think this is where the... The Brimarac was. Or not. This is not where the Brimarac is. We have not been in here. Otherwise all the junk would be gone. Journal about an experiment. Dun dun dun. That is quite a discovery. Mm, what do you think's in there? Godspeed. Disarm that strap and go see what's back this way now. This is my kind of work. <sighs> so, storage told us by the spirits. Stuff. So, nothing special there. More junk. Oh, this is the basement one. Now I remember where this is. Loot. These fighters must have been caught off guard. They died before they could even draw their weapons. Their bodies are covered in a thin layer of ice that is slowly melting. So this one is a... This is a puzzle room, basically. If you don't want to know the puzzle, close this your eyes and don't, don't listen. Because <laughs> we're about to do it. It's a question of getting in the rights. Okay. So, he's the oldest. This is the big thing here. It's scroll see invisibility. Can we retreat already? And that's what we're fighting. So it's the shadow demon. Ow. And Veronica's already at full burn. Not a big deal. Now what she could do is turn on the rack, right? Because that's so it makes sure that makes her do uh, some damage no matter what. But they get a save. Uh, is that a thing? There's the rack. Okay, let's see if it works. Forwards. So, took five points no matter what. Even though it says it's reduced. Oh, stupid shadow demons, that's why. Okay, so you can have a way there. Now, does he have anything special on him, or is he just. Damage reduction 10, exceptions of gold, cold and cold iron, it's not a problem there. Immune to poison, critical hits, damage from non magical weapons. Ah, energy and cold. Oh, electricity and cold. <coughs> Can't be made prone. Okay. So. Sila. Ah, uh, Sila doesn't have any more smites. The light take you. 
So it's not invisible because we have C invisible on, right? Cover me, all right? Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Distract them for me. He's not moving. Why isn't he moving? Time to share your treasures. Cover me, all right? For some reason, he's not moving. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Because I'm using the wrong buttons. The problem with playing different games all the time. Buttons don't work the same from game to game. Okay, land. Mark him. And shoot. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. So land's working well because he's using Finian, which is technically a cold iron weapon. And an ember. Um, can't be made prone so that her sleep isn't gonna work. Uh, run to energy. Move to energy. Any reason I have these, the target is suppressed, so we can use that on that. His saving throw failed, so he is now vulnerable to energy stuff. It's all his energy resistances shouldn't work anymore. Gimpy. Okay, a little bit of light at angels, which should dazzle him and give us a couple extra hit points. Do not hold back. Give me so apparently he just wants to beat the crap out of Gimpy. So much for having a tank, huh? Let's turn rack off. Because it's not affected by bludgeoning. Because cold blast is bludgeoning, right? Yes. We won't falter. Reduced because <coughs> incorporeal. So we actually do want to use the the rack. Can be taken. Yeah, he's he's kind of that way. The inheritor, guide my blade. Good roll. So he just skipped a turn. Are these guys confused or something? I don't know why their turn got skipped. Strike with all your oh, because we went, we turned it from turn base to. To real time, real quick, so it screwed up the order. Oops, it's my fault. Let's see, uh, I should drink a potion. Into the fray. Good dice rolls. Okay, Wool Jeff. Distract them from me. Immune. What's he immune to? Because he's incorporeal, so he's immune to cold iron. That's not what it says on this thing. There's some bottles of different types of wine. Eh. You won't survive me. Codeword potion. Yes, it's a potion. Potion in quotes. Okay, Miss Skimpy needs to talk to me. Be right back. Mrs. Hello Gimpy. everyone. Just a second. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. 
You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you and happy Sunday. Uh, old schedule, am I fully recovered? No. This is a test to see if I can do eight hours because I've done two six hour streams, right? Did one on Friday, did one yesterday. So now I want to see if I can pull off an eight. And starting at, of course, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I can still do six hours and still get most of the stream in. So that's the plan today is to see if I can do, see if I can do a full eight, but only really anticipating to do six. Hey, Crush, welcome back. Putting turnips on the side of applesauce. Oh, that sounds disgusting, Jeff. Yeah, the Friday one did bother me. I mean, it, it made me really tired, but yesterday I didn't feel so bad. I'm, I'm getting better. And yesterday I didn't feel as bad as I did on Friday, so that's why I'm giving it a shot today. Just to see. I, there's no guarantees I'm going to make it eight, but I think I should be able to do the six. I know I can't taste it, but it's, it's the premise. It's the premise. Oh, and Mrs. Gimpy was in here to let me know that Mickey is limping. <laughs> she, they've been on the couch all morning and she picked up uh, Mickey to put him on the ground because she doesn't like him jump. She doesn't like either one of them jumping off the couch anymore. So um, she picked him up, put him down, said he was walking. He was kind of limping on his left leg. And I go, yeah, because it's the weather. We have rain going on for the next few days. And that's what happens because I, I have the same problem <laughs> with my knee. <laughs> It's just like this weather, it makes you limp because it's not pleasant. And he's got a bad left knee just like I do. And that's why he's limping. So he's old and stiff. And it's also his bum knee too. That's what it, that's what it is. Specifically, it's his, it's his bum knee. Anyway. He needs a nickname. What, like Hoppy or Limpy? Power of the potion. Um, how about we feel the power of the ear piercing scream? Or we just fail to overcome the damage resistance or spell resistance. Gimpy still laying on the floor, taking a nap. And apparently, we just don't care about rolling low. Oh, he only needs to roll a five to hit her. What level is this thing? He's only levels, well, he's four levels higher than us. <laughs> That's probably what we're losing. We can do it! Look, damage. Now, Vulture's not gonna get sneak Stop attack damage treasures. anymore. Doesn't matter because he's not hitting anyway. Oh, shit, I should put that in. It's too late for that. Mickey Gimpy? Why Mick Gimpy? So we just keep it at Mickey for now. Endure this. Uh, let's see. He's gonna be immune to the sleep. We know that. We have to overcome the spell resistance. Oh, but the fire. Let's see if the fire works. Just don't burn friendlies. Gimpy doesn't mind. Forgive me for this failure. Fails to overcome spell resistance. This is not gonna go well. Dodge better, Voldrift. Actually, why is it reduced damage on him? Oh, because he's got the resistance natural. Nice. Sometimes it works in your favor. Forwards! Ta da! Okay, so that was horrible ish. Crusader wasn't dead before, she just fried him. Well, no, he's fine. We're fine. We're just tearing through these potions, though. Ta-da. Okay. 
Okay, athletics 18. Athletics is land, I believe, right? Together we stand. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. Uh, good job, Lan. And lockpick person is Wolf, I believe. You ask me. And now it's jammed. You suck. Difficulty 19, you have to roll a 7, you roll a 2. I feel like we should reload that. <laughs> Sorry, I do. If they didn't give us such bad dice rolls all the time, I wouldn't have to do this stuff. Happy Wednesday, though. Although he did roll a 2. But we can't say Happy Tuesday, because that's a real day. I thought I should probably play this on Tuesdays, too. So that way you can say Happy Tuesdays. Hey, Fanny, welcome back. Yes, just have good dice rolls. It's Let that easy. Hesitate. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. Tactical reload? I agree. Okay, we'll save this one. I stand ready. This is my kind of work. See, that's how it's supposed to work. Oh, look, it's a bow. The wicked longbow, which is... Oh, plus two composite longbow confirms a crit when it confirms a critical hit on an enemy target must pass a will saving throw of DC 20 or suffer a curse. This curse... Creature suffers a minus one penalty to willpower or to will, minus two to fortitude, and minus three to reflex saving throws. It can be removed with the remove curse spell. Hmm. Lan is currently using Finian though. It's not about the damage, it's about the effectiveness. So plus two. So if we're fighting demons, he has to switch the v to Finian, but everything else he can use the Wicked on. So what's Ghost Touch do again? Deals down normally against incorporeal, okay, that's why he was damaging the Shadow Demon. Regardless of bonus and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. That's not too bad. He can use two of them for now. He can use the wicked one for now. Again, if you want to fight demons, you gotta switch. Okay. Mm, should we rest here? Well, let's see. Ah, no problem on corruption, so we can camp here. It must be a pain having to cut a hole in every pair of pants for your tail. For once, I actually feel lucky compared to somebody else. That's Lan talking to Coat Wiljiff. It ain't just a case of making a hole. I need to stitch it so the whole seam doesn't split. That's why I learned... If we're learned to sew, my tail's a blessing in disguise. The old Jeff, always trying to find the good side of things, I guess. Twenty-three hours. <laughs> Twenty-three hours for that camp. Uh... Okay, so looks like we're headed over to the east area. I will not falter. 
Godspeed. Saturday and Sunday, January 21st and 22 are the monthly giveaways for January. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower well, of the channel and present to win. Well, Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Let us press on. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching again. That's next weekend for the giveaways. Don't want to go that way. Been over there, I think. Mostly. Do not fear! Do not waver! No, not the undead uh, freaking ghouls. We love ghouls, don't we? We don't. Cover me, alright? See, if this is Celasta, we'll be able to knock him back down into the trench and watch him go splat. That would be fun. Can't do that here, though. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Good shot, Lamb. We'll do a few suck at dodging. Do not hold back. Happy Wednesday. The inheritor, guide my blade. She can say stuff. And eh, Veronica. Oh, that was the wrong one anyway. Immune to rack. I'm going to be immune to rack. Huh. Kind of defeats the purpose of the rack thing. Uh, I'm sure ghouls can't sleep. You missed Ember. Why are they picking on Gimpy? <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Why are they picking on Gimpy so much? You won't survive me. And why can't Lane hit the broad side of a barn? There we go. See, look, that's what we wanted them to do. But actually push them over. Land looks a little uh frozen. Stupid ghoul fever. Ugh. Oh, he doesn't have a spell on. Oops. Strike as one. The light take you. We won't falter. Okay, one left. Too late for apologies. Oh. Nice Gimpy's making a saving throws. Endure this. There we go. We march ahead. So ghoul fever on Gimpy and Together Wolf. we stand. So, treat affliction. That worked. That worked. So, gimpy with the good treat affliction stuff, apparently. Oh, uh, now we're down to. Uh, no more uh, first aid kits, too. Which sucks. Where's my moniker? Lower religion check. Okay, so that's why. Religion. So Gimpy should be making those rolls when possible. I will see this through. Look, more spells for we'll do. Can Ember can't even learn those now, she can't. Hmm. 
I'm debating whether we want to keep going in here at level three. Because as I remember, right, stuff gets a little bit tougher in this area. Spells, yeah. Recruits. What are you guys doing down here? So sweet it is to kill. Oh, I'm a boss. Who's. Totally fair fight. <laughs> How nice. He can dazzle two of them, maybe. Two better than none. And going after Gimpy. Now Ember is pretty pointless against these guys because her stuff doesn't work on them. I'll hit you. No, you won't. Veronica, you're a different story though. Strike with all your might. Maybe. Yeah. And land have you do five foot step forward and start shooting stuff. Make every strike count. Happy Wednesday. Still killed it. Gonna keep you in a little drift. They're not going after Sela for whatever reason. Attack! We shall overcome! To the fray. <sighs> That's why they're not attacking her, because she can't hit stuff. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Go Wildriff. Okay, Amber. You won't stop us. Or not. We can do it. Okay, okay so that wasn't so bad. Oh, potions, thank you. And now we're overloaded. Armor. So studded leather. Chain shirt, really? This stuff is not weight in descending order. Oh, it's total though, isn't it? It's not individual stuff. It's total weight. So, hide armor. Don't need that. Leather armor. Don't need that. Oh, 
Okay, at least we're having. So, that's manageable. Lore religion Let check. Not hesitate. This task is beyond me. Yeah. Whatever. What kind of foul magic could possibly do this to a person? Somebody who can't roll. Roll the one, of course, because, you know, you only need to roll a three. Doesn't matter. Just extra experience, right? Zombies. I'll make my own legend. Can I have Veronica drop a... Where is it? Oh, she doesn't have it yet. She doesn't have the slick for water. Okay, land. the heart's greatest challenge. You've crossed the wrong Get another mountain. obstacle. You won't survive me. Happy Wednesday. Need a three roll to one. Charged up at least. Looks like it. We won't falter. Hold the gate, Sila. That one's out of range. Needed. Need to roll a five to roll a four. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Wasn't there something else in here too? The inheritor, guide my blade. Good shot, Sila. For a change. There we go. The shadow. Okay, land. You need to switch over to uh, Finian for the non corporeal stuff. Five foot step, move away from that thing, and shoot it. Make every strike count. Distract them for me. He's immune because incorporeal, of course. Ember. Stupid incorporeal. Ugh. That means Veronica's not going to do much damage to it either. She can hit that one. We can do it. 
Mostly dead. Gimpy. Dazzle. Stuff. Do not hold back. Okay, see if I can take these guys out, I think. The light take you. If she hits. How about that tricky hitting and stuff? Two strength drained from Gibby. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Man, you missed. Probably should have done the thing. Oh, now we're encumbered because Gimpy lost strength. And Wildrift can't touch this thing. Well, they mean to magic missiles? Weapons. Time to share your treasures. Not immune to fire. Right? He is, well, he's resistant to fire. Can't hit it. Oh, wait a minute, he's got Divine Zap. Wow, Divine Zap actually killed something, full damage. Good job, Gimpy. Into the fray. Good miss. See, this is getting really good at ro rolling under eights. You won't survive me. Cover me, all right? Just die already. Uh, so that was just big critical hit sneak attack. That works. So we have a strength problem. Have any lesser restoration straws? Potions? That's mage armor though, that help me. There we go. Ah, do we want to use it now though? Which kind of which one is it? Strength damage. Resting or healing. Or the spell. Eh, we'll let them suffer for now, I guess. I have managed. There are graves and other clues indicate that a necro necromancer has recently conducted a ritual here. That is quite a discovery. It's a gravestone. Ah, the throwing axe plus one that nobody really uses right now. Speed. Hey, Gray, welcome back. It's in DLC. Funk of the Righteous. It's going to be Clamps Dynamite. You know, I saw that Funk of the Righteous and I was thinking, wow, that's going to be just nothing but stinky people or stinky stuff to fight. You know, because it's Funk. But now, I, yeah, it's 70s Dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Let us press on. <sighs> See if this scroll works for Gimpy. Yeah. It 
It's a tragedy. Which part? It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. The funk of the 70s. Wow. Read it in the Bee Gees voice. Nah, it's okay. I don't do that. Not my thing. I'm all in. You can handle them. Shit. Right? So much for pausing. Look at all the zombies. At least Ember can uh, do the ear piercing scream on these guys. For a whole whopping. Oh, because. <sighs> Saving throw. Uh, hold the gimpy back for a second. Hold it too. Because there's other stuff in here, wasn't there? We won't falter. The inheritor, guide my blade. Endure this. Go land. And that's where I thought Shadow. Too late for apologies. <sighs> D ten plus one minus four. Minus four. Stupid damage reductions. Strike as one. Go Gimpy, lop off those heads. Here we can get Corey Feldman for the Hades DLC. What about the other Corey? What the hell was his name? Nobody remembers him. He died. Well, they can bring him back. There's necromancers in the in the world. We have them in this game. Like, they must be a, a real thing. Strike with all your might. Okay, Sila. Um... Smite evil. Smite it. He died in twenty ten. Wow. The light take you. Concealer. Go land. Make every strike count. Yay, land. No, no strength drains that time around. Uh oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I'll hit you. Go, Ember with the crit. Distract them from me. We can do it. Good mess. Into the fray. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Ah, uh, Finian on the archer is working really well because that ghost touch stuff. So, see that got drained and we have no way to recover or restore it with the uh, scrolls and potions. We could camp. Which probably wouldn't be a horrible idea. Thank you. 
they show it. Okay, so... Shit. Um, I guess we can explore a little bit more. Although, do I want to? Oh yeah, this is what the necromancer is. Together we stand. Okay, so glass. Oh, me? Need to grease if we need it. We'll make things right. Ember, nothing really there. Oh, do we have any protection from fear and stuff? A line weapon. Uh, land doesn't need that so much. Awful evil. Good. Give that to. Oh, wait a minute. Is Radiance good aligned? No, oh, just Masterwork Cold Iron. Okay. So, we do need that Let spell. Not hesitate. Just in case. Unbreakable Heart, we're going to have to wait on that one. Does Gimpy always have time to hear the word of Blake? Nope. I don't get that station. The city has fallen at last. How glorious. Now I can stop pretending to be a shopkeeper and spend all my time on my true passion. Reanimating the dead. Okay, Veronica, start blasting stuff like that necromancer. Barely injured. Uh, we should probably turn that off so she can start getting some burn in there. Haste? Well, that's not fair. So these are his little undead friends that Gimpy can do a little bit of damage to. It's not great, but it's damage. Old Jeff. Oh look, Grease. Come on, someone should say it. Somebody needs to say it. Look, everybody's taking a nap now. The inheritor, guide my blade. Happy Wednesday. Five foot step to get closer and. Shoot. Where is it? There he is. It's a perfect strike. You are using a feat before you make your attack roll. You can roll your attack twice and take the high roll and you can attempt a perfect attack. Okay. You won't survive me. Probably not the best. He needed 14 and he rolled 13 twice. Ember. 
number. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Go Gimpy. Kill those undead. Time to share your treasures! No glory without risk! Just don't get on the mud. Okay, Lang, get a little bit closer. It's the big target. Shoot him dead, please. Hey, Kakar, welcome back. No, don't hug the undead. They are all slimy and scaly and stuff. You won't stop us. Strike with all your might. Closer, do a little light of the angels. Dazzle them, buff us up a little bit. And Jeff, oh look, magic missiles. Make every strike count. My land. Suck, land. Burning hands, that's what we need. That one's out of range, though, isn't it? Maybe? Looks like he's in range. He is not in range. Uh oh. We can do it. Apparently we can't because ones are our friend. And he finally stands up. It's good to go bad. Line this. Keep you saved me to saving throw. Uh, let's see. Good roll. Old Jeff, out of magic missiles. Oh, he fell over already. Cover me, all right. Oh, come on, Old Jeff. Into the fray. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Land is getting good, really good at rolling ones, I think. Or somebody is. Here, let's see if this one looks asleep. He does. So he's out for three turns. Forwards. Yay, no more Necromancer. AKA, no more few, uh, fear. Oh, that one's dead. So, mark him. You won't survive me. <sighs> Land, we have to have a talk. Oh, that one's asleep. We don't need to shoot him. get this one killed we can ditch the breeze. Or he could stand up and we'll just kill him that way. In 
endure this! He awake? He's awake now, isn't he? Too late for apologies! Get back. Shield of bathing in a safe. Maybe. Make every strike count. I'll hit you. We can do it. Ah, shit. Yes. That was a definite misclick. Forwards. We shall overcome. Wrong weapon. The wrong mongrel. Oh, come on. Now oh, he's dead. Well, he's not quite you dead won't yet. Stop us. Can it be the now. end? Let's burn. Do not hold back. And again, forgot to switch Gimpy's weapon. There we go. Strike as one. Who killed him? Can't be attack. Oh, that's right. He was dead. He was going to be dead anyway. My tail is restless. Well, do you think get rid of this horse, please? No? He fail. How do you fail? Everybody, out of the grease, please. Help where I can. Something wrong. There we go. That wasn't so horrible, I guess. It's amazing how how uh, somewhat difficult fights the first time you run into them aren't so difficult the next couple of times you run into them. <laughs> it's just funny. The disfigured corpses are laid out in a neat pattern in preparation for an unknown ritual. I'm going to go with getting raised from the dead, probably. Ah, so create a pit. Sure, why not? So dire horn, the glaive. Cold iron plus one. It's a stuff we don't really need. Time has come. So we're mostly done. Oh, perception check failed. So what's back here? I will not falter. Giving everybody a little bit of boost to the perception here, because we missed something. At least Wolgif missed something. Can't hide from me. There it is. And so totally, totally worth it. Well, Mark Pit isn't too bad. It'll come in handy probably later on at some point if I remember I have them. Defeat. 
Oops, shit. Too busy pressing buttons. Cool, cool, cool. No shadow yet. Distract them for me. And we'll just get ghoul fever again. The inheritor, guide my blade. Needs a nine rolls to eight. Good job, Siva. Veronica, blast we won't that one. Falter. Oh, I. Wait a minute. Why did she do that? Automatic attack. Why didn't she do that? Oh, because she's got the burn thing to worry about. Oops. Okay, Lan, take us five to step five foot step away and go after that you one. won't survive me. <sighs> Ember. I would step back. Burn friendlies. Don't want to do that. Surrender or else. <sighs> More ghoul fever. Time to share your treasures. Cover me, all right? Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Why is Gimpy so Hold easy on. to hit? Just forgive me for this failure. Seriously, why is he so easy to hit? Oh, we're flat footed. That's why. Oops. Into the fray. Okay, Veronica. Five foot step away. Strike with all your might. Endure this. Too late for apologies. Distract them for me. I right, could sneak attack them. Okay. So, this is going well. Okay, so Gimpy can drink some potions or two here. Oh, and then we have to worry. And we've got stupid treat afflictions, and we can't do that anytime soon. She's still at strength damage as well. Ugh, going so well. Look, bugs. Meditate on your mistakes. Can we step good. on their toes as well? Good job, Lamb. centipede. More than likely they're going to be coming after Gimpy because that's what they seem to be doing. Because his armor class is 18. She's 25. 19. So that's why they're going after Gimpy. Because he got the lowest armor class in the front line. Open the door. Come into my sanctuary. We can do it. That just crappy damage or crappy roll. Yep. Two d six and roll the four. Take 
Kills. Make every strike count. Kalan. We went after land. I don't know why he went after land there. Attack! Oh. Cover me, all right? McCase to me, wondering where are oh, these are these guys? The actor people. We're not going to read this stuff. File. Basically, this is a traveling actor troop stuff. Oh, failed the check. We squished him. Okay. Instead of sliding to the side, the whole lot tumbles to the ground. You hear what sounds like a heavy object crushing through the cellar door. Darlings, are you alive? Yes, but that thing crushed uh, only our skill prop. <laughs> uh -huh, so why is the professor explaining the structure of a skull using a sloppily carved pumpkin? Stuff, stuff, stuff. So much stuff. I don't feel like reading it. The fourth time around, it's like, yeah. Talk, talk, talk. So much talking. What are you doing down there? Don't really care, actually. Really? When I'm scared, I eat. Try to blah, blah, blah. Can you get somewhere safe? Oh, don't worry. On our account stuff. Lampkin. Lampkin, our male deed, he'll protect us. Lampkin is a ogre or something, isn't he? You have to go. The next door theater. Keep going next door, please. Might be trap, might be treasure. Or it could just be we junk. Be or just more demons. the wrong mongrel. <sighs> One and a two. Happy Wednesday. No, he actually went after Sila, so that's fine. Forwards. Why is it reduced? Just natural damage reduction five. That's okay. You won't stop us. Oh, sorry, we don't have blessed weapons and that kind of stuff. The inheritor, guide my Some of them do. We shall overcome. Go Gimpy. You won't survive me. Zap you or zap you? Why not both? Uh, no problem. So why was the first one reduced? Oh, because that one's not cold iron. Look, it's junk. More junk. Look, bodies have been mutilated beyond recognition by claws and fangs. So, we're mostly done here, I think. It's this space up here that I'm... We ran into Sila's friends already, right? I think we did. Ran into a friend of me, so yeah. So. Oh no, we haven't found her yet. Kill Rain again. Yeah. 
Not before. Hey Gimpy, have you hydrated lately? If not, you really should. Okay. Data strive, blah blah blah. Okay. So we haven't found Janna yet, so I think that's what this spot up where on the right hand side is. If I remember right. Is that where it is? I think it is. It's not. It was on, it's on the side of the map where you run into Janna and her little party, isn't it? Shorthead figures poking around some bodies lying in the middle of the street. A stranger drags his, the first body off the road, respectively prompts it up against the wall, and places the corpse's hands on its chest. The figure then freezes as, he, as, is he, as if hesitating, and you see him reach out his hand toward the beautiful gold amulet hanging around the corpse's neck. He jerks his hand back, hesitates, and reaches out again. Well, look what we have here. Looting corpses, are we? Because we don't do that. The stranger almost jumps out of his skin and the hood falls from his head. Under a mop of red cools, curls, a round halfling face looks up at you. Oh, phew, I thought you were, de were demons. Good, good day to you, good sir. See those eyebrows lift in apparent surprise. Curl, is that you? The halfling looks at Sela and smiles broadly. Oh, Lady Sela, you're alive. Goodness me, that's the second bit of good news on an otherwise lousy day. What was the first bit of good news? Stick around and see for yourself. Do you know this person, Sila? Meet Rimvi, better known as Curl. He hails from Canabras and he fights in the Condemned. He's one of a kind, a rogue with a gold, heart of gold. She smiles and adds a little more seriously, Curl, it's probably none of my business, but you should ask yourself if, if uh, what you were about to do is right. Halfling cheeks uh, flush, he hides his hands behind his back. I didn't, I just thought, oh, it doesn't matter. Can you have anything useful about what's going on in the city? I'm afraid not, good sir. I just left the defender's heart. Before that, I was holed up in there, too scared to leave. Although spending all that all that time under Commander Irabeth's nose uh, sure was something. She's a strict one. Phew. And when she gets nat antsy. Don't even start. I had enough of her breathing down my neck to, uh, to last me a lifetime. So what are you doing here, robbing corpses? 
No, he protests. Rumpy girl may be a rogue, but he doesn't loot corpses. I just need to get those poor lads' bodies off the road. My friends and I are on a terrible important, terribly important mission, and we need to get through. He's interrupted by the sound of wheeling, wheels rolling on the paving stones. A cart drawn by a sad little horse appears from around the corner. A pretty half-elf is driving it, and a young man in knight's armor is walking alongside. Even from a distance, you can see his tanned face and his blue eyes shining brightly. Halfling straightens up. See, a terribly important and very heroic mission. My friends and I are saving a beer cart from the demons. Eland of the Hound Hearts. As he's speaking, the newcomers notice you, and the knight cries out in jubilation. Sila, I never thought I'd see you again. I thought you were headed to the main square, the center of the demon's attack. Half out smiles warmly at Sila. Says, or this is Jana Eldori. Hey friend, glad to see you're all right. When we get uh, sep when we got separated by the crowd at the celebration, I knew right away that something was wrong. And when demons appeared all of a sudden, I realized that that was the reason why I'd been so anxious. But I couldn't find you among the dead in the square, so I kept my hopes up, and I was proved right. See this face lights up with joy. So you're the other bit of good news, Curl was talking about. You and Jana are alive. Actually, by good news, I meant that we found the beer cart. So Elan and Jana being alive amounts to a quarter of a good of a quarter of a bit of good news. Well, maybe half. Beer cart, how about sharing with us? I'm sure we could all do food to drink. Half elf half elf winks rakishly. Certainly. Give me your flask, friend, and if you uh, walk us to the Defender's Heart, we can have a more thorough sampling of the spoils there. Despite the cheerful tone, she looks at you with anxious hope. Janna, there's no need. The heart is uh, very close, and the three of us will be enough to fight off the attacks if there is one. Besides, our friend here surely has better things to do. More important things that, uh, than carrying beer, barrels of beer, I'll wager. By the way, my name is Elan, Sir Elan of the Hound Hearts. Uh, I'm glad to meet someone who survived this madness. I do know Sila. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Are you aware, Sir Knight, that your friend Curl was trying to rob a corpse? Gimpy, is that really necessary? Curl didn't even do anything. Whatever he might have uh, been thinking, that's beneath him and his conscience. Or between him and his conscience. But it needs to be pointed out because, you know, we don't rob corps, corpses at all. What's wrong with hearing the truth? I think Janet and I have the right to know what our newfound friend is up to. And looks sternly at the cringing halfling. I am not your commander, Curl, and I can't punish you or even condemn you. I suppose lots of people in Mendev think that the war justifies anything, but think about it. That dead fellow might have a family somewhere. His property and mementos should be returned to the rightful owners. They're bound to have sentimental value. Take this cart, for example. We might take it now, but once the city is freed... The Eagle Watch will, and the other orders will certainly try to find the lawful owners and compensate them fairly for their losses. Yeah, right. And a friend. I didn't even do anything. I was just thinking about it. And honestly, I don't think we'll even be able to gather up all the bodies and hand them over to Eagle Watch. They're, they'll be looted anyway. Well, uh, that will be on the conscience of the one who does it. But you're a crusader, girl. But you're a crusader, girl, though you might not have volunteered. Those who fight against evil itself have to be better than the common folk and their uh, moral frailties. I have to go. So long, we're sure to meet again, even either in the city or at the Defender's Heart. Sure you will. Come to the tavern. We'll celebrate the valiant rescue of this barrel together. Okay, so that's done. Now we can... I don't think we have anything to do in here anymore. I think. We'll be back later, I'm sure. Oh, we're still too heavy because of Sila's stuff. Shields are worth what? Five each. Scale mail is worth 
12 each. They're 37. Saturday and Sunday, January 21st and 22 are the monthly giveaways for January. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching again. It's next weekend for the giveaways. If you have any questions on how that stuff works, feel free to ask. And we're going to be dumping this because we're only... <sighs> we're 0 0.2 pounds over. Darts. No. Oh, sorry. It says we're overloaded, but we're not really. I don't think. Oh, because I, it says 9.55, we're at 9.70, so we need to drop another 20 pounds. I can do math. There we go. Okay, you can always come back later and get it, if we're really hard up for money. <laughs> so this is all the stuff we're leaving behind. For now. Okay, so you can go back to Tender Defender's Heart and sell stuff or go to the library. Two hours. Sure, it's not that long. Except for we run into stuff. Ah, Nanio. Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self, bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Come, boy. I'm a dwarf. Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I am your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will, and so on and so forth. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. Who's there with you? Who? Oh, them! Just an audience, they don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. <laughs> Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favored weapon? We will not answer to you. Our lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all-powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. Oh, look. We passed a religion check. Actually, it's Azergal. Azergal. Glaive made of red adamantine. That is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the Great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep. And a cow. Nope. Aurochs. 
I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Nah, not when you realize they're idiots. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. And my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. We're on the angel's path this time, Catger. Hey, take it easy! We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. <sighs> How do you spell Baphomet's name? <laughs> B-A-F-A... -A oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village, back to my mother. Hey, wait! You there! How dare you stir up discord in our ranks! Grab her and tie her up! And her entire entourage, too! The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please, proceed. I won't interrupt. Yet another obstacle. But I didn't want to punch them. I want to show them the error of their ways. Uh, let's see. Sharpshooter, archer, cultist. He looks tired. Of course he made a saving throw. Why wouldn't he? Totally behind Sila. Hug them to death? How about we blast them with water to death, maybe? We won't falter. Just not this turn. Where's Wolf Jeff? Oh, he's behind. Okay. Distract them for me. Do not hold back. Endure this. Good shot, Lamb. Surrender or else. Good shot, Ember. That didn't kill him. That was a bad damage roll. Into the fray. Good job, Sila. Time to share your treasures. <laughs> Cover me, all right? Can I Gimpy? Strike as one. Or trying to at least. Not that like Gimpy's a good shot or anything. Make every strike count. <sighs> Look, this one looks tired. Or not. We can do it. Good rolls. The inheritor, guide my blade. Stab yours after. Why oh. not both? Stop shooting Gimpy. Attack. See, stop shooting Gimpy. Uh oh. The absence of an answer is an answer to lies. So many lies. The 
result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. What about you, boy? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomade prefer? Aren't your legs getting stiff? You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch damn it, you ignorant meatbag. Except that I know the answer, red and white. This answer is correct. It is comforting to meet at least one educated person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Canabras today. Let's proceed. Did Era didn't take part in any crusade before he died? No. You know for sure that Aradin died long, not long before the World Wound opened and the First Crusade began. Your answer is correct. Aradin's death dates to 4606, and that is precisely the year when the World Wound was opened. The First Crusade started back in 4622. Your knowledge would make Mendev's Crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Arilu Vorlesh bears? Is she the architect of the World Wound? The Lord of the Labyrinth, or the Border Inquisitor of the Shapeless Abyss. <laughs> uh, architect of the World Wound. Yeah, everybody right. does that. Most excellent. You successfully answered all of my questions. Splendid. Amazing. This is a breakthrough. This. Oh, I thank you for your cooperation. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer. A pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, future author of the great Encyclopedia Galarianica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. <laughs> you can finally tell me what you're, you were getting on with all these questions. It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. And I must admit that you passed the test with flying colors. This does offer a glimmer of hope for the future of Crusade. I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It pleases me to see that I was correct. So you're trying to say that I am mediocre? Yes. <laughs> Why do you keep calling me boy? I have a name, you know. I apologize for an injury to your ego. But your name is irrelevant on the grand scale of the universe. Thus, it cannot possibly interest me. I will forget it as soon as I hear it. To avoid unnecessary confusion, I'd prefer to not know it at all. Canabras is sa isn't safe right now. Shall we join forces? Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions to the World Wound? To assist me in my experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Oh, how splendid! Of course, I agree. Truth be told, I have no money to pay you. But you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. You join forces, you have to follow my instructions during our ex expeditions. Huh? What? Oh, yes, the dangers and these battles. Of course, I will follow your orders. I place my life in your capable hands, so I can focus on the things that really matter. Agreed. Excellent, you're hired. To think that I finally found someone to accompany me. 27 crusaders before you said no. Not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. And we'll stick with this group for now. Okay, look, we leveled up. Okay, welcome to level four. Gimpy is staying on the Crusader path. Oh, that's right, he gets his animal companion at this level. Uh, let's see, wisdom or charisma? Uh, wisdom. You got hired, please do not res resist. <laughs> Come back, Mozart. Okay, knowledge of the world, knowledge of religion. Now, let's say, what animal do we want for Gimpy that he's going to use as a um, mounted thing? I'm thinking bear. A dwarf riding a bear, that seems pretty typical, right? 
Oh, it gets rend. Whatever that does. So plus four to natural armor. Is there any other? He's got plus two horses. Nothing special there. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a must too. Oh, there's the boar, but that's more of an orc thing. I think we'll go bear. We'll go bear. A bright future awaits us. I stand ready. Of course, now the question is, what are we going to name the bear? Oh, what are we going to do, too? So, regular animal companion, so it gets the evasion, it's devotion. Uh, will saves against enchantment spells and effects, multi attack, prove evasion. Coffee? Why coffee? For winning fights and displays dominance or choice of mates, territory, and other privileges. So, oh, Illy gets tripped because it's brown. Mm, let's see. Bullying throw. It's a bull rush over run or trip combat maneuver after fully resolving combat with bug games. Plus two morale bonus on attack and damage rolls until the end of his next turn. Taking it with natural weapons to take minus two penalty. How many attacks does he have? Uh, so this gives him automatic proficiency with that stuff. So he loses out on sturdy. No, he gets sturdy, sorry. So damage reduction two and keeps going up. Slowly but surely, not a big deal. No evasion though. So get devotion. But we don't have to worry about taking the the barding stuff. Oh. Bulwark is a thing. Daredevil. Where dodge bonus armor class against tax opportunity causing you to move out with Pencast. Not a big deal there. It's a record deal. Sunder the armor. Hmm. I'm thinking. Oh, Gressler's got a power attack already? I'm thinking trip or the sturdy plus all that. Well, the sturdy isn't a big deal, but the armor proficiencies get those for free basically. So against some other feats instead. Uh, but trip. And bull rush. What's bull rush actually do? Performing this maneuver and plus two and uh, defending against it. Push an opponent straight back without doing any harm. If the combat maneuver is successful, I don't really care about that actually. It's about the trip. So I get the evasion, so bully isn't bad. So it's no, I didn't. So I'm picking up. Where's the? Hmm. 
Eh, we'll do bow work. Uh, give him mobility and perception. Oh, he starts off with a feat. Uh, I don't think we need... And that's right, we don't need to get him the barding stuff, because he already has a light. Dodge, because he's going to be tanking for Gimpy, basically. Toughness, more hit points. Eh, we'll go dodge. So it'll be a coffee bear. <laughs> coffee the bear. Coffee. Because it's brown. Ah, oh, it doesn't fit. Espresso the bear, because he's fast. Eh. <laughs> it matters. I like espresso as a name better anyway. Coffee's okay, but espresso for bears. And that's gonna that's gonna provoke questions. And I'm just gonna say refer them back to uh, you, Mozart. Espresso, the bear. Go for mobility, perception. Oh, that's right. He's not our level yet. We have to wait until we get. Gimpy gets that feet no to get him up to the boss. same level as us. Anyway, Silo. Gonna stick on the Paladin path, because why not? And Charisma or Strength? Charisma. That will one bonus point there. Because he's brown like coffee, but also because he's fast like he's a bear. Okay. And also makes you poop. Yes, when you see a bear running at you, you probably will poop, more than likely. Oh, we don't need one of those. That's right, she's gonna go the persuasion route. Gimpy's our world person, so. Perception. Okay, Sila. Ask nicely. Well, Jeff. Mm. Could make him into. Is it worth making him into an arcane trickster? Ability. Cast arcane spells at low. He's going to get that this level, isn't he? Yes. So I'll qualify there. He just has no arcane skill though. Hmm. The bear? What? The bear is a trickster? No, we're talking about uh, Wooljiff as a trickster. Problem is he's behind on the arcane stuff. But we can get that up probably this level pretty close. Yeah, I think we'll go try to get arcane trickster for him. Just to be different, I guess. Dexterity or intelligence, though. Uh, more skill points gain each level, though your character always gets at least one skill point per level. Uh, let's give his intelligence up, I guess. Okay, so he's got five points, so it's stealth, trickery, perception, king. So, we need trickery, arcane. 
This is what's actual other requirement for Trickster? Oh, it needs mobility four. So trickery, mobility, and arcane. Have to wait one more level. Which is okay, I guess. Go to level four, yeah. And the next level he picks up arcane because those are all set here. Oh, the trickery is going to keep going up. Mobility won't. It's a trickery mobility. Okay. okay. Yeah, we can look at that. Okay, so level two spell. Doesn't really matter because he has, um, he can learn from scrolls. It's not a big deal. Glitter dust. Mirror image. How did I not get mirror image on him yet? So. Okay. I tire of waiting. Veronica, welcome to level four as a blood kineticist. You'll be picking up some wild talents, or a wild talent. And for you, it's trying to even out the constitution and dexterity. She's our backup trickery person. Uh, let's see. There's Slick. That's our bonus feat. Blind fight and bull rush, no big deal. Uh, before we need grease. Okay. And then land. I think we decided we're going to stick on Slayer for a little bit so he gets the sneak attacks. So he automatically applies precise. No, sorry. The study target when he gets a sneak attack, right? Hey, Jaguar. Welcome back. Happy Sunday. Oh, AC bonus, because Monk. Oh, sorry, now he has his Wisdom bonus to his AC. And Ember. I wonder why. Ember the Witch. So I was thinking about maybe doing Ember as a, the Arcanist, but... Or not the Arcanist, the... T -t 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 was it? Arcane Trickster. But too much for her to build up on because she has to do the trickery. She has the trickery skills and sneak attacks, so that's a thing. What else can we do with her, though? For fun stuff. Oh, these are the ones she can't do. I 
I guess we can keep her on, on as a witch. Hey Gimpy, it is time to take a break. In a second. Your next break is in two hours. Our cane person will jiffin her. So, kind of a tie there, so that's okay. Religion, she doesn't need to do because that's Gimpy's job. Persuasion. Yeah. Ah, so for her hex. Oh, evil eyes. Definitely need evil eye. And spells. Level 2 spell. She has no level 2 spells. So, backup healer. Backup healer for now. Okay, so you're set. Spell books. Kimpy. Another level one spell. Remove fear. Just in case. Level two. Effortless armor. Ah, oh, see, this got a spell. So, plus weapon. Treat it as magic weapon for the room. Do you have to become good aligned? It's less for one minute per level, so. It's a fail of heaven. Outsiders of the evil subtype. They mean demons? It's, yeah, this is for demons, that's for undead. Ah, but bless weapon. Yeah, bless weapon. Little Jeff. Two level two spells. Uh, mirror image and blur. Can't cast spells at this level, so it's a lie. Okay, we're all set. Okay, so I am going to take a quick break. A couple minutes over. Oh, wait, did we kill these people? Yeah. Oh, that's right, these are that stuff. She's a canabra, so stuff. Before I forget to do this. I guess we can loot everything, because we don't have a weight problem now. Oh, because we have the bear. <laughs> we have the bear to help us carry stuff around. Yay, espresso. Okay, so, like I said, gotta take a break. You can get up, stretch your legs, get some water, that kind of thing. If you've been watching the stream for any length of time, I suggest you do the same. Be back in a few minutes. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the dog video.